For the 14th year in a row, the Vermont Shrine football team was on the losing end in the annual Maple Sugar Bowl. Defeat never comes easy, but there is a saying that more is learned from losses than from wins. That was certainly the case for the Green Mountain Boys, not because of the action that took place in front of them, but because of the teammate they had standing beside them. Traveling all the way from Yarmouth, Maine to join Vermont, on the sidelines was Jared Conan. The young boy suffers from muscular dystrophy and is one of the beneficiaries of the thousands of dollars that were raised for the Shriners Children's Hospitals in our region. Throughout the game, each player spent some time with Jared, signing his Vermont t-shirt, talking football, and more importantly, learning exactly why they took the field on Saturday. In most football games, the scoreboard tells a story, but on this night, it was evident Jared was the winner. What's your favorite part about being out here? Um, Bravo, time. Just Sorry, watching uh, the game. The right side. And having the other guys, you know, lose about a half yard. Make you a part of the team. Does that make you feel good? Right yeah. there down the stop. When it started to pull away, um, okay. it was hard to smile. And you look to the sideline and you see Jared and you just see the big smile on his face. And you can't help but smile back and give him a high five. Having him on the sideline meant a lot. And then getting to wheel him through the handshake line, that was pretty special. You know, I think that kind of just puts it all back in perspective. You've got the Vermont team, the New Hampshire team coming together, and right in the middle there, there's Jared. You know, it's big for him. I hope he remembers it, because I know I will. It's safe to say these young men learned much more from Jared than they did on the field on Saturday.